Hey everyone, so happy to be shooting a video down here by the creek once again and a storm is supposed to be rolling in soon so I'm glad I was able to get outside and shoot this before the rain comes. First announcement, check out the shirt. I started a line of merch on a Spreadshirt, um, consciousness expanding and inspired clothing to kind of promote awareness and things that are eye-catching. So I hope you will check that out. I will put a link in the description below the video. So please check out the new merch. Yeah. So I wanted to talk today a little bit about, um, again, healthy relationships and codependency as that is a big focus on my channel. And in particular, I wanted to talk about the silent treatment. Whether you are someone that gives the silent treatment or you have been the recipient of the silent treatment. Um, the silent treatment, you know, where, where you just completely, maybe someone approaches you and you feel really, really defensive and you kind of just shut down and wall off and then just ignore the other person, either not looking at them or just acting like they don't exist for a number of hours or a day or a week or a couple of weeks or a month. So here's what happens when someone gives you the silent treatment. What that means is what you did is you brought something to that other person that poked a wound in them. It poked, it nudged a sore spot in them, something unhealed. And they may not have the skills to know how to articulate their feelings they don't may not know what they're feeling and so their way of handling it is to just completely shut down and to push you away and to act like you don't exist and to not respond to phone calls or texts or any kind of way that you may be reaching out what happens to the other person who is the recipient of the silent treatment is if you are someone who is maybe a little bit insecure or maybe you you do have codependent traits, but if you don't have enough of a, a strong enough sense of self within yourself, is that may send you through the roof with anxiety and fear. And what is getting poked within you is that wound of abandonment. And because that silent treatment is going to reactivate that and bring all of that up and you are going to escalate and want to resolve the issue at any cost because you are so uncomfortable and to have that discord and that uh, lack of harmony in the relationship sends you over the edge and you cannot function until it is healed. We have some bird visitors, wonderful. So what is going on here is both people have wounds that are being activated and there needs to be, if for there to be healing, there needs to be a, a, an ability to have conversation about that because the silent treatment is very damaging. It's very hurtful when you receive that. But both people need to learn how to communicate what they're feeling. And if someone says, I can't deal with this, instead of doing the silent treatment, and they say, I, I, I don't know how to respond right now, or I can't talk about this right now, I need a little bit of time. And instead of just leaving it open-ended, because sometimes people will say that, and then they don't actually talk about it later, they just sort of sweep it under the rug. Instead, what is a healthy thing to say is, I need some time to process this and to be alone and to figure out what I'm feeling. I'm feeling really reactive and angry right now or I feel really hurt. Let's talk about this in an hour or let's talk about this this evening or let's talk about this in the morning or something like that so that the other person knows there is going to be a resolution to this and they can be at ease. Now, the person who is the recipient of that silent treatment what they need to do is they need to work on having more of a stronger sense of self to know that their happiness does not depend on the other person. And if that other person is giving them the silent treatment, then they can say, okay, well, you're acting immature and I'm not going to tolerate that. And your response to me in that way is not something I'm going to continue to tolerate. I don't stay in relationships where people treat me this way. And if you want to talk about it, let's talk about it. But if you're, 
if you're just going to be cold and act like I don't exist, that's hurtful and I don't allow myself to be treated that way. There are better ways of communicating, better ways of conflict resolution, and better ways of handling our feelings. So that person needs to find the strength within themselves so that they are not blown around by someone doing this to them. And that's, that's how they can find healing in, in, within themselves because of that abandonment wound, which is very, very deep. So the more that you work on yourself, that you do your inner work, your shadow work, um, inner work, shadow work, and that's another way of saying work on your wounds, work on your childhood stuff, because <laughs> we all have something um, that, you know, when we heal that, we stop looking to our partner to fulfill that for us because we've healed it within ourselves. So one of the ways that we can heal this codependent, uh, codependent neediness is when we, we look at what is lacking within us and we don't look for a partner to have uh, to treat us in ways that fill us up and make ourselves feel whole that we come into the relationship already being whole and we can walk away from bad treatment because we know that we'll be okay no matter what so we, we don't stick around for someone treating us badly because we know don't put up with BS and there's no reason to accept that that you're worth more than that but when you don't know that you're worth more you tend to, <laughs> awesome, we tend to, you know, if you're in that situation, you will accept that bad treatment because you're afraid to be without that, that person, to be without that love that they're giving you, but they're also giving you love at the same time that they're giving you some other hurtful behaviors. And there's no reason to stick around for that and to accept that kind of behavior because you get some love some of the time. So, you know, just think about yourself. If you're the one that often you've been in relationships or you maybe you are in one now where you are receiving the silent treatment because the other person doesn't know how to, you know, how to deal with their feelings, talk to them and say, hey, I'm concerned about this. This is really hurtful to me. How about, you know, can, and I have my own wounds, can we work on this together and how can we best do that? And, you know, if that person is open to learning and improving in that area and growing and looking at their, their issues, great. But if they're not, and many, most of the time, many people are not open to that and they just shut down and wall off and, um, and, and there's no reason to, to take that. And at the same time, you got to work on your own issues of that feeling of lack, that feeling of neediness, that feeling of not being whole and their, um, their silent treatment sending you through the roof because it will make, it makes you crazy. It makes you just escalate. And then all of a sudden you, you start acting way, way, way like way escalating because it is just turning the spotlight on these very, very painful parts in you. So both people need to heal these parts. Work on yourself. That's the only thing that you can control is to work on your own healing, work on your own wounds and see how that changes your life outside of you. I know for myself, speaking from experience, when I finally healed that within me, I stopped accepting being treated poorly because I knew I will be fine no matter what because I knew I you know I had myself I had enough within myself healed and filled up with my own confidence my own belief in myself that I had no time and no tolerance for someone being abusive or someone treating me like crap mm -mm. I you know so if you know if you're there and you know what I'm talking about you know that you can get to a point where you say I've learned the lesson I don't need to go back and repeat it over and over because maybe you've done that for years or decades so that is all thank you so much for joining me down by the creek wonderful wonderful and questions or comments leave for me below please check out the merch and also my tapping course on teachable link for that below as well thanks so much everyone talk to you soon